me the first time I came in contact with um, Kusama's work was when I was in London on holiday. She had this installation at Selfridge, and I was just enamored by this idea of polka dots because I actually didn't know that she was the godmother of polka dots up until then. I didn't even know what her work looked like. So I went online and I just loved her, her, like what her experience with um, this idea of obliteration and the polka dots taking over everything that she saw. So um, I felt the need to sort of use this idea of obliteration to talk about the state of my nation, Nigeria, which is in serious distress at, the, at this moment. I mean, you can, you're aware that recently, some days back, our government just blocked Twitter. This one is talking about how this affects us mentally as a nation. I mean, you, you can always talk about the economic disasters that, that are prone to happen when investors start pulling out because of just this very single act. So for me, making use of Ms. Kusama's work was to reference the idea of something, maybe an illness or, in this case, authority, authoritarianism taking over the nation. So I had to use that sort of experience to communicate what I was feeling at the moment. I mean, looking at the collage, you can see this sort of beautiful landscape with the animation. But underneath all that, there is this tension, layers of the work itself. So that's what I'm um, trying to communicate with um, um, Kusama's dream. Because I mean, like for, for me as an artist here in Nigeria, it's also very important because our galleries here, they behave like vultures, you know? Almost everyone is looking for how to take a huge chunk out of your money. You know, I mean, I just about three weeks ago, I had a sort of um, disagreement with the gallery that wanted me to come up for a show, and they were looking at taking 50 50 for a work that I have already produced, I have shown around the world, and I was going to also cover the cost of production. So for me, this whole idea of NFT, it just seems to break away that whole um what's it called cycle of of um <laughs> cycle of eating where the artist gets to where the artist doesn't get to negotiate what he wants for his own work and that gives the artist back the power especially here in Africa in Nigeria it gives the artist back the power to make work to put out work at no expense you know